A freak Nick, um, yeah, I wouldn't want it out either. Yeah, y'all, they about to put our business out in the street. We about to, some of us might be on TV. So get your parental controls together. And uh, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. <laughs> because mom was behind a dumpster getting smashed or had a vagina out of a sunroof. All right, y'all, here we go. Off my chest, we coming in with a vengeance. We going off my chest today. We going Freak Nick, man. Freak Nick has came, come back into the masses, man. Who knew was about to drop a documentary on Freak Nick produced by Atlanta's own, the mayor of Atlanta. The mayor of ATL, Mr. Jermaine Dupree. A little freaky man want to bring the Freak Nick back. And some people don't want it to come out. People don't want it to come out because they, they scared. People, people in power, people that's lawyers, doctors, and all that, they're a little afraid. They don't want people to see all this crazy lewd behavior by them. You know what I'm saying? The disrespectful behavior by themselves. Y'all, I don't know. We might be in trouble. Did y'all see Hulu is about to release a documentary about 94 Freak Nick? Yes, yes. 1994 Freak Nick. Yes, they are about to release a documentary. So, um... I'm just now I, I've been to several Freak Nicks. 94 was one that I attended. Uh so I'm I'm just praying that Jesus be a fence. I'm praying that Jesus just be a big, tall privacy fence. That's my prayer. This Easter, this Good Friday. That's my prayer. So um, you know, I will say this though. I will say this. Like when they would bring out those video cameras and start recording, I immediately removed myself from the um that situation i never ever ever um was okay with being recorded out there so um hopefully that worked to my benefit but you know you never know you never know so the only thing i got is if you see your girl in the documentary hey man at least i'm fully clothed at least all my clothes is on that's that's all i got <laughs> that's that's the best i got but yeah y'all they about to put our business out in the street. We about to, some of us might be on TV. So get your parental controls together. And uh, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. And they have every right to be. They have every right to be afraid. You know why? Because I went to Freak Nick, man. I went to Freak Nick. I, I'm, I'm, I'm out there. I might be on the tapes. You know what I'm saying? I might be on the tapes. I'll be honest with you. We rode, me and the homies got in the car. We drove 12 hours from Chicago to Atlanta. And we ain't do nothing but get stuck in traffic. I did not go, I did not do anything. I didn't go to no parties. I ain't go to no parks. We didn't do nothing but get stuck in traffic. We had to stay in a hotel that was 20 miles from the city so we could be amongst the people be stuck in traffic. Traffic was so bad. Traffic was so bad. We're sitting there for probably an hour in one spot. People just in cars, not doing nothing. I'm like, man, we ain't got no liquor. So I got out the car and I saw a liquor store way back yonder. I walked back to the liquor store a mile and a half. I came back a mile and a half to the same spot. The car did not move. I was gone for like 40 damn minutes. People got wild. People got wild at the freak. And the guys were going crazy. They all up in the streets. They just, you know how guys be parking lot pimping. Women get wild. They start going crazy. They start like flashing their titties just cause. Like these, they just flashing their titties just cause. Turn to the right. Three girls at the same time raise their dress up and they ain't had no underwear. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? This is crazy. That was cool. The freakiest shit I've seen at the freak Nick. This lady might be a lawyer somewhere. I've never seen this before. I've never seen this since then. I went walking the muck street with my bottle of gin back in 95. I'm walking around. I'm trying to find some old freakiness. I look over to my left. I see guys hovering around his one car. I'm like, I gotta see what this is. I walk over to the car. It's a lady. She in the car with the girls, but she's in the middle and the sunroof is open. She got her legs wide open. No underwear, just, just raw vagina. And you look through the hole, you see the, the vagina breathing. I've never seen nothing like that outside from a sunroof. It sits in my brain to this day. Now, I hope they got that on footage because I would love to know who that was. If that lady's judge or lawyer, she should, she should lose her goddamn job. That's <laughs> a damn shame for some shit she did almost 30 years ago. It's still in my mind. I don't. I wish I knew who this person was. That that was phenomenal. I don't know how she got in the middle. But she got in the middle and the legs spread and just looked down at the damn thing and she said, and nobody, the guy trying to touch, don't touch it, just look at it. That's literally pussy control. 
Well, like I said, I didn't get a chance to go to no parties. I didn't go to no parks. I ain't doing it. So you can ima- I can imagine all the wild shit that happened at the parties and parks. Right there, that was just on the street. And that's why they want, don't want to release. You got lawyers, doctors, judges. They don't want to release. They out there in the streets. Probably one of them doctors, lawyer, judges was one of them women with the legs open out the sunroom. They probably preach to their kids. You're like, you shouldn't do that and be out there with these boys or being all fat. And then the documentary come on. Hey, mom, ain't that you bent over behind a dumpster? That wasn't what Freak Nick was all about. Freak Nick was about. Oh, it was a small ass picnic in 1983. <laughs> it was a small picnic for kids who didn't get a chance to go home for spring break. You see what happens? My people, when we get a hold of this shit, <laughs> we just got to make it crazy. We just got to make it crazy. Why we have to make it crazy? It was a nice little picnic. They probably playing spades and Uno and shit. Monopoly. Somebody like, we got to turn this. What happened? We, I went home. It was boring. You should have came here. We played some Monopoly and some spades in the park. Well, really? Yeah, who was it? It was just all people that's chilling. You know what? We're going to come back next year. They came back next year. The, the numbers doubled. They told, they told two of their friends, and they told two of their friends. Next thing you know, I'm looking at a goddamn sunroof. That's a vagina wide open. We couldn't even touch. Yeah, they don't want that out. But you shouldn't have did it. You didn't know. You know they got, we had little camcorders. We didn't have phones. We had little camcorders. I can imagine how it was at them damn parties. Damn. And they said they tried to bring it back. It was nothing but guys. <laughs> it was all dudes. It was all dudes in the street looking for women. Women that got jobs and they at the strip clubs now. We going to put our vagina out on the pole. Why the fuck are we going to be here? <laughs> the freak Nick, man. I I have like a video. I can't find the video nowhere. So they said like I got some footage of me being out. There ain't nothing but us standing in the street looking at cars go by. But we were there, man. That was the I think that was the month Michael Jordan came back um, after playing baseball. Me against the world was out, and we played the hell out there. I got tired of that damn album. But a freak Nick, um, yeah, I wouldn't want it out either. <laughs> because mom was behind the dumpster getting smashed or had a vagina out of a sunroof. Next segment.